my name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my So Hilly Jane unboxing video. So I've got the So Hilly Jane box here on my lap. Um, I'm filming this at the end of um, a work day. So it is starting to get a little bit dark, so I've put the light on. So apologies if there's lots of like shadows and things. Um, but before I open the box, I thought I'd let you know what I'm wearing. And we are learning about autumn at the moment and harvest. And we've got loads of songs that we're singing with the children. And I knew that we would be doing some investigation work today around seeds in fruits and vegetables and doing some fruit and veg printing. Um, and we're singing... Um, there's a song called You Can Pick a Little Bean and there's lots of different actions for it. And we're also singing Big Red Combine Harvester. So I thought I'd wear sort of a harvesty kind of themed outfit for um, work. So this is a Deer and Doe My Sotis dress. It's got happy little fruits all over it. I'll put pictures of me wearing it. Um, but I love the My Sotis dress. It's got that lovely little sort of mandarin collar. You've got the buttons sort of down here. Ever so slight uh, V-neck line. I have got the ruffle on the sleeve. Um, it has got pockets in, where's the other pocket there? And then this one has got, whoops, this one has got the ruffle on the hem as well. And then I've just got it on with tights. This fabric is so fun. The children really enjoyed like spotting all the different fruits and counting like how many strawberries are on there. They were debating about what type of fruit and veg they could see. And yeah, it was just really fun. And I'm really pleased actually that I wore this to work today. There was lots of conversation and counting and yeah, it was just lovely. So that is what I'm wearing. So I have got the classic box here. Um, Haley started wrapping them differently. So we've got this lovely sort of like sleeve detail that goes in um, around the box. And on the front it says, unbox your Sojo. And then all the different social media sort of um, places that we can find Sir Haley Jane too. haley has got a really lovely YouTube um, channel if you haven't checked her out already. I think she did a Q&A vlog recently where she talked about uh, where the idea of Sir Haley Jane came from and um, just lots of things to do with the business side of things. I'm yet to watch it. Um, but I'll link it down below if you haven't checked it out already. So I subscribe to the Classic Box. I've been subscribing to So Hilly Jane for years now. Um, I really love the surprise element of the boxes. Um, in the Classic Box, it's £35 a month. And in that, you get fat quarters, a magazine, a sweet treat, some haberdashery items, gutterman thread, and then two and a half metres of fabric. There's a mini box where you get a metre of fabric. Um, you still get fat quarters, but not quite as many. Um, and you get sweet treat, haberdashery item, I think, and custom and thread. And then there's the luxury box, which is £65 a month. Oh, the mini box, I think, is £20 a month. And the luxury box is £65 a month. You get more fabrics. So it's three and a half metres of fabric. And you also get a pattern included. Um, I've been tempted to subscribe to the luxury box a few times, but I've got so many patterns behind me. I don't feel like I need any more patterns. And two and a half metres of fabric usually is enough for me to turn it into something. So I'm going to stick with the classic box. If you're interested in getting a box, there's a link down below in the description where you can get 10% off your first box using the code. Um, and there's a link to follow as well. But let's get started on the box. So they always come packaged like this. Lovely. And inside there's a magazine which gives you an idea of the theme for the month. So it says um, Hocus Pocus October 2022. Inside the magazine, the magazine feels really thick this month. Um, there's a little um, leaflet that's been popped in that just says due to a manufacturing issue, there's been a slight change to the boxes. That we were meant to have stickers from the Samantha Claridge. Uh, we were meant to have stickers from Samantha Claridge, but they were unable to be delivered to us in time to get in the boxes. So instead, Samantha has provided us with a Signs of Zodiac um, illustration, which is lovely way around does it go there so that can go on the wall in my sewing space so that is our little gift this month there's always a lovely hello from Hayley where she talks about the theme um she says how is it possible that in the six years I've been creating these boxes I haven't done a Halloween themed box um Hayley loves Halloween although they don't go all out on decorations she loves a trip to the pumpkin farm and a little carving session um, she didn't want to go all out novelty Halloween with the boxes, but the recent release of the Hocus Pocus sequel movie seemed too good an opportunity um, to work with. The luxury boxes have got a really beautiful, super bloaty, viscose chalice 
called Cobra Corsage in Noir from Lady McElroy. It's really pretty. Um, and then the pattern they've got is the Size Me Vienna Blouse. The classic and mini boxes have got a top quality cotton with an abstract print that reminds Hayley of spider's webs. I'm not going to read the rest of the introduction. There's an interview with Samantha Claridge, so I'm looking forward to reading that a little bit later. Then there's Make of the Month, which is from Sonia, who used August fat quarters to make the bodice of a self-drafted dress. And it's really beautiful. I really love that back detail. I think it's really pretty. Um, and Sonia is fro and hay over on Instagram. Uh, Paige Turner. So if you're already looking ahead to the festive season and looking for the perfect gift for a sewing friend, then one of these great books could be just the thing. So there's um, four different um, sort of sewing related books um, as suggestions. I've got two of the sewing books that have been suggested. Three boxes, three makes. So Esther had the mini box and she used the cotton poplin to make a Deer and Doe Melia shirt, which is really lovely. Then we've got Gemma, who made full use of the luxury fabric, the Lady McElroy fabric, and she's made a maxi Lyra dress, which is just lovely. I really love the idea of doing a maxi Lyra dress. Um, I haven't yet. I've done a midi length, but the maxi looks really lovely on Gemma. And then Laura used her cotton from the classic box to make a quilted Hevea jacket by Megan Nielsen, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. That's such a good idea for using the cotton from the classic box. The Fat Quarter Project, I have flicked through this magazine, but I really love the sound of the Fat Quarter Project, and it's a fabric pumpkin decoration. I say this with all of the Fat Quarter Projects, but I really want to give that a try. I've seen so many gorgeous um, like pumpkin decorations, and I just think that's such a fun way of using up the Fat Quarters. I tend to keep the Fat Quarters, and I use them as wrapping paper when I'm giving um, presents to various different people. I just wrap them and then tie it with a bit of ribbon. Um, Maker's Gallery, there's loads of really beautiful things in the Maker's Gallery. So we've got um, some dungarees by Amanda, they're really gorgeous. And then we've got Ruth um, has used the waffle jersey to make the Peppermint Magazine jersey dress. She looks really cosy. Then we've got Suzanne has made, um, let me see, she used four fat quarters and she's made two quilted pet food mats a couple of pet toys and two jars of reusable wipes, which is just amazing from Fat Quarters. Then we've got Lucy, who has sewn the Maeve skirt, which is gorgeous. I think that was with the double gauze. And then Emily has made the cutest matching jumpers for her and her daughter. They look adorable. Then we've got profile subscriber Holly. So I'm looking forward to reading all about Holly um, and her sewing. And then we've got the pattern picks by the fold line. So lots of ideas there. Um, and then we've got some information about Size Me Sewing, which is a pattern company. Um, Haley's Little Links. So I'm yet to watch Hocus Pocus 2. I don't know if anyone else has watched that. Do let me know what you thought about it. Uh, and then there's something to do with food. Um, and then Haley's um, YouTube channel. And then the Megan Nielsen Dove and Dove Curve Blouse. And then at the back, we get some information about what's in the box. So in the classic box, we've got two and a half meters of cotton, four Curious Cat back quarters, two spiced pumpkin latte wax melts. That's what I can smell from this box. Got them in thread. And um, the Claridge, um, it says sticker sheet, but it's not a sticker sheet. It's the um, sort of illustration uh, magazine. And then a vegan lolly. So we've got a drumstick lolly. And that is the sweet treat. They're my favourite lollies to eat. So I'm looking forward to eating that later. My thread is this lovely blue colour. So that tells you what colour my fabric is. And then these are the fat quarters. They're gorgeous. They've got cats all over them. Um, and this one's really cute with more cats. This one has got um, pot plants all over it. And then this one has got more cats. So very Halloween-y. Very cute. And then the fabric is this beautiful cotton and it feels really lovely and soft actually with this geometric print. When I filmed my latest Sunday Sewing Catch Up, I wore a uh, Nina Lee Southbank sweater dress which had this kind of design on it, but it was a jersey fabric and it was a navy background. This is sort of this really lovely um, lighter blue um, sort of colourway. And then it's got all those sort of geometric shapes all over it. Because it's a cotton fabric, 
Let me see what it's like. Cotton doesn't tend to have as much drape, but actually this feels like it's got a bit of a sheen to it. It feels really lovely and silky and soft. Um, and it has got a little bit of movement to it. So I'd written down a couple of ideas of what I might turn this fabric into. Um, the first thing I immediately thought of was a skirt. I thought this would make a really lovely um, flat fronted skirt using the free tutorial from Alice Irvine. I've made three of those so far and I really enjoy wearing them with tights and boots and then um, just a polo t-shirt sort of tucked into the skirt. So that could be a contender. I think that would work really nicely as a gathered skirt that's got a flat fronted waistband and elastic in the back. And I could also get pockets in that as well. Um, I also thought the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra, it's been a while since I've made a Tilly and the Buttons Lyra, and I think that would make a really lovely Lyra dress. I really like the sort of button down bodice with the gathered skirt. Um, so it could become a Tilly and the Buttons Lyra shirt dress. Um, I also thought maybe some pyjamas. Um, it's a really lovely design and I thought because it's a cotton that would feel really nice to sleep in and I've got the Tilly, not the Tilly and the Buttons, I've got the Nina Lee Piccadilly pyjamas which I've sewn before and I put piping on them. Um, this would make a really lovely pair of pyjamas and then the other pattern I thought of was the um, Nina Lee Bakerloo blouse because I thought that would make a really nice Bakerloo blouse as well. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to go for yet. I'm erring more towards the skirt because I think I would get quite a lot of wear out of the skirt in my wardrobe. Um, the other thing I thought of maybe was a pair of culottes, but I don't know if this would be too weighty for a pair of culottes. Um, I'll have a little think. Um, if you've got the classic box and you've got this fabric, I'd love to hear what you're thinking of turning this fabric into. But at the moment, I'm leaning more towards the flat fronted skirt because I just think I would get more wear out of that. Um, but again, another really lovely box. Um, so thank you, Hayley, for all the love and care that goes into putting these boxes together. I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing what came in this month's classic box and hearing some of my ideas. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be really great if you could hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you, as always, for watching. Take care, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.